No more companions Meg cries her eyes out as WME dissolves the Duchess's deal by spring following Serena urges currently a famous add-on is causing a headache for a top company when it fails to promote this person they tried to bring her to famous events with many A-listers using the relationship. But the benefit this celebrity brought to the group was zero after nine months. This is the biggest failure this company has encountered since its establishment. The company mentioned as WME and the celebrity is Meghan Markle. If nothing progresses, Jill Smaller will have a meeting with the board of directors in spring, which is also their final limit. And Meghan Markle will be completely removed from the company sports agent and former professional tennis player Joel Smaller is considered a pioneer for women in the industry. She's best known as the longtime agent tennis star Serena Williams Smaller. Joined William Morrison Bever Entertainment WME in April 2001 as head of sports and Entertainment division at their new line of business, she spearheaded the sports marketing efforts, she was instrumental in signing Megan after the room is flying, we met an agent at WME this weekend after a few cocktails. I asked what the deal was with WME and Megan, how did the signing representation come about, why did they sign her, how's it going, what are their goals, etc. They rolled the rise and said it's a complete show how it came about. The Duchess of Sussex joined WME's client roster in April 2023. Despite what royal watchers would have you believe, Jill Smaller is Serena's agent and a key figure at WME. Serena and Markle are pretty close. Serena essentially ordered WME to intervene and assist Marco WME was left with little option. Meghan visited the LA office just once for a strategy discussion and all agents received a note urging them to form alliances, friendships, and collaborations with their clients, which included actors, athletes, events, brands, and other entities. No agents desire to comply with the description they provided. If Megan is seen at a concert, Costner event, or other event, it's because WME's executive clients or its subsidiary companies were already there and they insist that she's included as an add-on organizer don't want to there but are forced to. She has nothing on her own all tag along. Marco is kryptonite, no clients want anything to do with her, and no agents really want to promote her to their clients. Megan has aspirations of being an ambitious, moral global ambassador, but she has the credentials to do so. She also wants to be a powerful figure in Hollywood, but she has no track record and she wants to be a part of national politics, but she can't seem to obtain the necessary influence. Brokers and letter agents at WME believe she's a joke and a prick, they even pretend to try to promote her. If something doesn't work out by spring of next year, the arrangement will be dissolved. Serena was still the second highest paid female athlete in the world last year, despite playing only three games, an exaggeration, but it was still a small handful. So she's definitely still a brand and making money through endorsements and sponsorship deals for everything off court. Three nipples for $50 million, plus possibly more after her retirement, because endorsements earn commissions of up to $5 million annually. That money gives Serena power at WME, but now the money she made is being used by the company to promote Ontolenti after a while. Meghan Markle understood that her buddy merely brought losses and reduced the firm's benefits even though Serena was the one who had originally pushed Meghan to join a company.